So sometimes people ask me, what happens if my symptoms continue? What if it lasts too long? What if it doesn't get better? Well, often symptoms can last a long time, longer than two to four weeks. And when that happens, it can be very frustrating. So we have to step back and look at what might be going on that are leading to us having longer symptoms than we ought to. Often it's just our own behavior and activities. We tend to want to push through things. We have obligations. We have obligations in school to study and keep up with our coursework. We have obligations at work to get our job done. We have obligations to our families and people around us. We also have obligations to return to our team and our sport and to participate in the activities we want to do. Sometimes this drive or push to get back to our activities can push us to be a little too active and not take that time to rest that we need to recover. But there are also other scenarios that can occur around concussions, and we call this entity post-concussion syndrome, or concussion with persisting symptoms. This isn't just a, a one type of condition. It has various flavors and subtypes, and so sometimes it takes a team approach to identify what the functional area is that we need to address. Is it balance and vision? Is it post-traumatic headache? Is it some other disruption of the autonomic nervous system? Is it a psychological factor that needs to be addressed? It often takes a team approach. And at the Unity Point Clinic Sports Medicine and Concussion Center, we have that team available to help identify what it is that's holding your symptoms back from fully recovering.